Thank you, Nevada. Thank you. Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto now projected to win the Senate race in Nevada, her victory allowing Democrats to hang on to their majority. I'm not surprised by the turnout. I'm incredibly pleased by the turnout. And I think it's a reflection of uh, the quality of our candidates. The largest county in the state reporting results from additional mail-in ballots overnight, giving the senator a lead of over 6,000 votes. Nevadans rejected the far-right politicians working to divide us. We rejected their conspiracies, their attacks on our workers, and their efforts to restrict our freedoms. Masto's projected victory in Nevada means Democrats maintain control of the Senate with 50 seats, Vice President Kamala Harris the tie-breaking vote. But Democrats could add to their majority with a win by Senator Raphael Warnock in Georgia's runoff election next month against Republican candidate Herschel Walker. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer reaching across the aisle. And I say to my Republican colleagues, and particularly Mitch McConnell, the non-MAGA parts of the Republican Party, work with us to get things done. Newly re-elected New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, a Republican, believes these midterms were a rejection of extremism, both from far-left and far-right politicians. But what I think people said was, look, we can work on these policies later, but as Americans, we got to fix extremism right now. Ahead of last week's midterms, many had predicted there could be a red wave that would deliver majorities in both chambers of Congress to Republicans. It was not anything that we ever accepted when the pundits in Washington said we couldn't win because history, history, history. Elections are about the future. Democrats defended some incumbents in tight races and flipped some seats held by the GOP. The Republicans could still win a razor-thin majority in the House. Alex Perche, ABC News, Washington.